Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all well. So here I am just doing some decline crunches and just starting off light with no weight at the minute and uh, just going for as many reps as possible. Really good movement, uh, really feel it at the top of the movement, really hard contraction on the abs and then adding some weight to it on one of those kind of like sandbags we have at the gym are really good. You can use them for anything, shoulder pressing, bicep curling, farmer's walks if you want. Uh, great piece of equipment but here I am just going for like really slow controlled reps and uh, especially lowering down really feeling on the abs really getting the burn and contraction hard at the top and then moving on to some hanging leg raises uh, hanging leg raises are a great exercise but you have to be careful that you're not gaining too much momentum because you get a lot of swing in and you can almost take it away from the abs and it can almost be like a just a leg who's working your legs in a sense so uh, you've got to be careful with this one but it is a great exercise and some people can do varied other movements like windscreen wipers and all kinds of fancy movements and that is something I might challenge myself to try and do and upgrade in a sense and add more movements it's all good and adds uh, challenges your body so as well, moving on to some planks here, uh, planks just holding the movement, uh, just really squeezing the core at the bottom, and then moving on to some step-ins, uh, just going for as many reps as possible, and step-ins really uh, work, work the obliques, you really feel the obliques, if you want to target those obliques, add step-ins to your workout. Uh, recommend a superset with some planks and it will just get an overall ab workout here and then moving on to some uh, leg raises uh, this is obviously a different similar movement to the hanging leg raise but there isn't it takes away the momentum so if anything it's a better movement and uh, you can really feel this all over your abs especially like at the bottom and at the top so great movement if you're not if you're doing abs add that into your ab workout and then because I've been doing a lot of push movements lately, I thought I'd do some face pulls because face pulls are a good exercise just to keep your rotator cuffs in check and just pull everything back as you can see. It's almost like doing a double bicep pose when you're pulling it all the way back. And then of course moving on to some arms, uh, probably my favourite bicep curl cable movement period love this movement uh, great exercise as you can just feel the bicep working and you can see it working as you're just pumping the blood into the muscle great exercise and we are now on day 29 so uh, it's getting to the end of uh, 30 days of arms and uh, really enjoying it so uh, we'll see I mean after like a week after 30 days and then training the biceps normal we see should, should see some growth so uh, Hopefully we do and it should be good. Um, but I hope you've all enjoyed the video so far guys. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out of here. Thanks.